Good evening, everyone. Hope you're all doing well. I'm not. <laughs> Hay fever is really hitting me today. It's that weather again, so I, I, I just have to suffer through it, and it's fine. Anyway, Veteran Odyssey HD came out. Um, I tested three a little bit. I'm probably not going to do a full playthrough anytime soon. Um, I have a different DRPG I have to play in the near future, and I don't want to overlap them, but probably after that, I will finally do the post game in Etrian Odyssey 1 for a change. I never finished that because mapping in that game, in the original release at least, is impossible. They don't give you the mapping tools you, you have to use to beat the post game, and it's a pain. Yeah, I'm very excited uh, to go over this. I kind of want to do it the same way I did with uh, Minstrel Song. I kind of just go over the basics of the game. Kind of just give a preview from the perspective of someone very, very familiar. Oh. Oh, right. I changed the settings for Etrian Odyssey 3, not this one. So it's not... Yeah, okay. Give me a second. This is a very professional stream as always. Let's, let's turn the music off. Now the game should appear. Yeah, there it is. Oh. It might help if I actually turned the sound on. There we go. Actually, I might actually want uh, to display my cursor for this stream, too, but let's wait a little bit. It is really nice seeing all these assets in uh, high definition for a change. Let's... Uh, Vsync on... change a bunch of settings real quick so we're gonna need those changed settings uh movement speed yeah i can keep that that way mm. yeah that's all fine i like that they kept the uh these two changes from etrian odyssey 5 that's very nice now let me turn on my my mouse capture because it's going to be necessary, because I'm going to use controller and mouse, which is the exact way that I played this game. Uh, okay. Uh, which is the exact way that I played this game emulated. Bring the game in expert difficulty, yes. So expert difficulty is basically just the difficulty that the original game was in. You have one goal. Explore the forest to win fame and fortune. Etria is at your hand. Yeah, that's kind of a thing where the localization kind of fucked up, where they named this entire franchise after the town in the first game. And then you never go back to this area, to this town ever again in the rest of the series. The games aren't really that deeply connected for the most part. It's like in Japanese, it's just like the labyrinth of the world tree. Sekai Juno make you. All right, so I had an idea for a guild. I have to write the name down first, right? Yeah, God, that that kind of spoils it. Then I can't just. Uh... You can't use. Oh, I can use keyboard. OK, I was about to say that would be weird. So I had an idea for a party.
Now how to go about it? Who should be the tank? I kind of feel like the tank should be the character who is the most beaten down of everyone, right? So with this sprite... We don't have color options in this one yet. Okay. Uh, there we go. Yes. That's close enough to a redhead, I feel. So the thing with the parties in this game, um, and it's probably unchanged compared to uh, the original. Like, I think what they changed was like they fixed a bunch of bugs, but they didn't break anything uh, that worked. So there were abilities that were too strong, but they haven't been nerfed, supposedly. So for the most part, you just need a protector um, for defender and a medic for immunize. And then you can just be very, very wasteful with everything else because you're not going to be taking much damage. Also, if you're going to go with an alchemist, uh, you want fire or ice. The most of the bosses in the game are weak to those two elements. Uh, most groups are weak to or most trash mobs are weak to electricity. So if you have like a uh, area of effect spell with that, that's good. But you don't want to go full electricity for like single target high damage with them. Also, poison was weak in the original and apparently it's still weak. They didn't fix the damage ceiling, which is very strange. That was the whole reason that it was kind of useless to go for that. That's a shame. Hey, Royal Melt, what's up? Yeah, it is very nostalgic still. Like, I played it not that long ago, and it still already has that sort of sentiment for me. So in the back row, I want a Troubadour, and that's going to be Bud, because Rap Master B. Now, Kelly will be... Hmm, I guess she could go as Heal Slut, I guess. Bit, bit generic, but... Oh wait, there's a blonde. Perfect. Now, Buck. Who will Buck be? Hmm... I guess Buck will just be a mage. There we go. All right, so formation. We've got L, Peggy. Oh, I misspelled Buck. What the hell? Oh, Bud, what the hell? Why is my brain like this? Uh... Yes. Let's see, he was a troubadour because Rap Master B. There we go, bud. Hey, Hap, what's up? Oh, that was a rename. Yeah, my brain is not fully functional today. Hay fever. It's fucking great. So we've got our party. Uh, let, let's bring up an image real quick. It's borderless, but it still breaks when you go out of focus. That is very odd. There you go. Wait, I saved one without transparency. Where did that one go? Why, why, why are we not getting the non-transparency one? There we go. Married with children. That, that's our party.
All right. So I already played a bit of three, so I already saw this menu and this is so much better than what it was in the original. Where it's just a list and, and you have to investigate everything individually to see what the requirements are. And it's just a pain. So let's get his defense up first. Uh... We want to protect the front. Uh, she's going to go whips, and that will give me a good time to explain um, how binding works in Etrian Odyssey 1. Uh, they fixed bugs. They haven't really rebalanced or changed too much. Which also, which probably also means that the weird way that uh, binds work in Etrian Odyssey 1 <laughs> Because apparently the way that it works in Etrian Odyssey 1 is that, like in most games and in most Etrian Odysseys after this, if you like bind a head and a spell would, you, would come from the head, uh, you just get the message that, oh, the skill didn't go off. Etrian Odyssey 1, they just pick a different skill. They're just not going to waste turns. And it's so, so bizarre feeling. Like, it feels like, oh, your bind didn't do anything. No, it actually did something. They just selected a different move instead. want cure immediately. Um, oh yeah, apparently this was overpowered and I never used it. Um, I heard about that later. Hmm. Let's... Yeah, and patch up was slightly heal the party, does not consume TP. Yeah, sure. So, with Alchemist, you want fire. You want the level two like single target spell with this, and then with if you're gonna do electricity, you want the AOE one. But ice and fire are the ones that are good against bosses, and that's what you kind of want this class for to melt the bosses. The first boss is weak against fire, so we need this. Um, let's get some. TP. Uh, songs. Let's get bravery. All right, let's go to the shop. God, this background looks so good. Like, really, my only issue with this remaster is the font, and that's, like, minor. I can look past that. Like, I played the uh, Romancing Saga 2 remaster and was fine with it, so... Uh... Oh, right, you want to whip. Or else you're not going to be great. Actually, I should give him a shield, too. How much money do we still have? We still have quite a bunch of money. So you're going to get a hairpin. You're going to get a hairpin. Yeah, the menu is very nice now. The way that it like presents the information that was on two screens in this way. It's so good. It's very well designed. I just want people to have armor so they don't like get one shot at the start because that always happens for some reason. Like you walk slightly too far from the start and then Noah Lynx just one shots your caster every every time. Ah, oh, this should be good. 
Also, something I want to point out, um, a lot of people don't notice. Every innkeeper in the series has their eyes closed. Why? Who knows? They just do. The most I can say for the font is that it's readable, which is way better than the original American DS version. The European DS version has a better font, but the American one is very difficult to read. The Labyrinth, you'll need Rada's permission. For oh, right. I, I need to take the quest to map the starting area. However, we don't recognize just anyone who managed to throw together a guild. If you wish to become a licensed, uh, you wish to become a licensed adventurer, first complete the mission we give you. Yep. Your mission is to create a map of the first floor of the labyrinth as initiation. Those who cannot accomplish this elementary task are better off staying out of the forest. Explore the first floor and map everything you see there. There is a small map to start you off with. Yeah, there we go. All right, now we can go. Now this is nostalgia. How did you turn the thing off again? Uh, there was an option to turn that UI thing off. but I forget where it is. I know I did it once. Oh, maybe it's with button display? Type one. No. How did you turn it off? Like, I do think it is interesting that they have this here. It's very reminiscent of old um, PC games, which were often fully played with a mouse. Maybe, let me, let me go back. Oh wait, it's gone now. Maybe it automatically is on, and if you're not using it, it turns off. I have no idea. Yeah, you can play like this as well, which is rad. Uh, Strange Journey was made using the engine of Etrian Odyssey 1. That is why. Oh no, there it is again. Maybe it has to do with mouse movement. I'm not entirely sure yet. Or if you move, oh, okay. I get it. I have to walk here. Yeah, then I get the tutorial that I have to map this area. No, I don't need to do that. Oh, right, yeah. I have to go that way. I think that way I usually get killed by a lynx first. I could almost map this from uh, memory, to be honest. Yeah, this is pretty much how I played the DS game. Oh, shit. Except I can't... Oh, you can. Okay, so it really is the same. Okay, people are going to need some better weapons very soon. Um, but it's fine. No, definitely more happened than just upscaling the assets, and it's very nice. Oh shit, you get the 3DS era analog mapping as well. That's very cool. So you can just move the map around. It's not as smooth as the 3DS games, but... You did not have that in the original. <laughs> Alright, uh...
it does feel like they removed one old thing, which is that um, combat speed used to like go max speed if you held the attack button down outside of the turn. And that doesn't seem to be the case here, so I'll probably just have to turn the speed up faster by default. Like it would go the max speed. Um, let's change that. Battle uh, animation. Let's turn that to very fast. Oh, hold on. There we go. God, I have to get used to uh, not having to zoom in and out of the map repeatedly. It's nice, though, but... Now there's something else I want to see happen in real time, because I've seen pictures of it, but... It was like that, right? Yeah. Does... I want to see the map icon change. Wait, why? Yeah, okay. There we go. The map icon is changing when I interact with the thing. Very nice. So that was a change that happened either in one of the untolds or five. Um, before that, these icons were always fully static. So now you can actually see if you've got those chests, which doesn't sound that big. But imagine if you saved your map after you died and then you can't tell if you've actually opened that chest or not at a glance. Uh, front guard. Let, let's see this new faster speed. Also, I need to go back already because TP. I forgot how... How small your TP pool is in Etrian Odyssey 1. It's it's absurd. It's not this bad in the later games. Ah, fuck. There goes Al. Of course, Al Bundy is the first fucking character to die. <laughs> fuck, we need to go back. Oh shit, the run button works. Hold on, hold on. I, I don't want to fight you guys. Run button, yes! Ah, oh, this is the best. All right, let, let's revive El Bundy. This town needs a shoe salesman, damn it. It's also interesting, like, you have multiple save slots, but it's already playing the save team a theme before you start saving. Because saving is, like, instant. Otherwise, you would never hear this music anymore. That was a funny thing, uh, emulating the game. You never hear that theme anymore. So let's sell what we got. Let's get a better weapon for you. Oh wait, did I sell the Scaramax? Am I an idiot? No, good. could use a better weapon. You have the whip, you have a wand, you have a wand. I guess I could give you... Feels like a waste of money, though. Sure. Let's do it. Yeah, I don't like uh, increasing the speed because it breaks the music. <laughs> that was one of the reasons I was so happy that um, you had the fast forward in Saga. Okay. Do I need to move the mouse somewhere to make this go away? I'm still not sure about this. How do you make that go away permanently? 
Like, why doesn't it say what this is? Is it it's Sony buttons? All right. Yeah, like the thing with Etrian Odyssey, like specifically one already. Oh. Seriously, I get hit with a bind. With Etrian Odyssey one is that like the typical battle speed is already really high on its own. Like, look at this. It's kind of just how the original ran already. It's so fast. Uh, let's actually map this. It's interesting how the feeling of mapping is kind of the same with how the lines are drawn. This kind of clunkiness to it. Definitely means that it's like an intentional part of how they made it. Um, yeah, that is the locked door. And this should be where the shortcut is. Yes, and the gathering point. Uh, let's cure you. Bravery. Now let's cure you. Not wasting more TP on this. There we go. So let's... God, I keep pressing the map button because I intend to zoom in on the map. Because I'm so used to how things used to control. Uh, this was a chop point, so let's put this here. Let's see if this is dynamic too. Oh, I'm not. I took a point in take because I thought this was a take point. I'm dumb. Wait, everyone leveled up. You can mine, you can take, you can chop. There you go. This one isn't dynamic. Interesting. Uh, so it's not all of the sprites from the later games that are there. No. So not all the dynamic sprites are here. Is this one, though? Ah, shit. Moles. Of course. Bravery. All right. Now let's hope Peggy doesn't die. Let's let's pray that Pe Peggy survives this turn. Nope. Damn it. Al, hang in there. No. Well, it's just the kids and the dog now. This is going well. <laughs> this is dynamic still. That's very good. All right, we're at town anyway. Yeah, I have one. The TP is such a limited resource in one. It especially stands out after you've played the later games, how limiting it is here. All right, let's go back. <laughs> Married with children, but the characters gray out after death. <laughs> well, the Darcy Guild is very happy then. Let's get better armor. Actually, I don't think there is better armor yet. I need five more vines. Unfortunately, they've been replaced with TikToks. Ah, 
Ah, ah. I'm not sure how you make this go away. I feel like I'm missing something in that regard. Like, it is nice that you have this. I, I do think it's nice. It reminds me of uh, old PC era dungeon crawlers, but I don't want it there constantly. Or maybe if I turn the thing full screen and turn it back, maybe then it'll go away. I don't know. It seems to just come and go by itself, and I have no idea what is causing it. Shall we eat the fruit? Yes. Al is eating the fruit. He actually got refreshed. That's surprising. I like how in the later games you can select who will do the thing and who will get fucked up. Hi Slug, thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed the videos. Ah, uh, fuck. It, it's a mole. I hate them so much. Actually, I hate the butterflies more because... I think it's the first color palette swap. That one deals poison and it's just a pain. Especially in the early game. Somewhere around here is an event that when it pops up, I'm not going to do it because I'm not going to survive with this party as it is right now. Oh, I'm already at the event. Okay. It's at that gathering spot. No, I need to leave. Yeah, like this one is a combat encounter against relatively difficult enemies, and it's probably just going to kill me. Chop point. Breadfruit. Hardwood. I want vines, though. I think that encounters like a group of these things, and no, we're not doing that. Oh, that went surprisingly well. Nice. All right. This is the dream. Ah, uh, no, I can fight this one. It, it's kind of dangerous for Al. He, he might actually die again. <laughs> not. Maybe he's fine. He's fine. Okay. What? Already? Shit. I want to take my new materials to the shop and hopefully get new shit. Actually, let me just... Oh, you get the compendium from the later games. That's nice. He's weak against ice. Actually, what I wanted to do was auto combo, auto combat. Yeah, the later games, you have that sort of info at all times. Also, um, look at this sidestepping action. I think it was Etrian Odyssey 
three that started doing that properly without like a weird control scheme. Oh yeah, nobody died. Yeah, the sidestep is great. Why am I always double saving? I don't know. A sword and a charm. Is that sword any decent? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay, so you're going to get that sword. And now I'm poor. I have 69N. Nice. I have no idea how to make this disappear. There has to be an option, right? Or maybe it's something that needs to be patched, like, um... Romancing Saga 2's port originally had that, or they just had touchscreen controls on the screen and they had to patch that out, like, oops, that, that wasn't the intent. I'll look at the options again in a bit. Oh, this is a dead end, and it's not even in the area that I need to map. Gorgeous. Yeah, I think I can auto him. Yeah. All right, the long way down. Oh, yeah, the water, which is, I think, just fine. Like, it doesn't fuck you up. Yes, this is perfectly fine water. I do wish you had a, a bigger area of the map that you could draw in. Maybe this size makes more sense for the switch. I'm not sure. Mm. Oh, they're really targeting Al. What has he ever done to them? Okay. Let's do this. I think I'm almost done. And then we can meet an FOE. Shit. I need to heal L. Before he eats shit again. Uh... Let's see. Do they have a proper icon for... This is the one where they had like 500 keys for no reason, right? Where you get a key and it's like, oh shit, I can open all those doors. And then it's like, oh no, wait, there's different emblems for all these doors. For some reason. All right, they all attack him. There we go. All right, we've got the map. Don't need to do cure just yet, but this is... I oh know, we're getting powerful enough that we're not just instantly eating shit during combat. That's good. I was about to say, there is surprisingly, like, the events are surprisingly kind to you in this game. I think it's two where almost all the events are just constantly going fuck you and die 
on repeat where they're just so why am I even picking attacks <laughs> where they're just so player hostile the entire time for no reason. Yeah, it was two. Two also introduced the squirrel. Who just keeps stealing your TP. <laughs> yeah, two is just very mean. Three, three, the bad things happen to other people. Mostly. <laughs> Everyone around you just dies. And then five, it's like, oh, no, it depends on what race that character that you picked for this event uh, is like it, it actually checks. It actually has like skill checks and everything, and it checks race, it checks gender at some points. I think it's fascinating. So I can just report it immediately, right? No, I need to talk to the guard. OK. OK, I'll talk to the guard. The squirrel keeps stealing your warp wire, so you can't go back to town by warping. You have to walk all the way back. Unless you had two of them. So there's a good chance that the squirrel will cause you to go game over indirectly. All right, we can go. Why am I here? We can go to uh, floor two today. That's good. I was wondering how far we're going to get today because um, Etrian Odyssey 1's early game is especially slow. And I know people sometimes bounce off of that. Like in general, if you're only going to play one of these three games, you want to play three. But but one is a pretty good game that is gonna teach you how to approach an entire genre so it's becomes easier to play older games like i've seen people go from etrian odyssey to wizardry just perfectly fine one of them is in chat actually all right this is another locked door that is for a different key uh locked door here you go that ui thing is back For some reason, these crab enemies always appear in this, like, small section of the map. Very consistently. <laughs> totally not me that went from EO to Wiz. <laughs> uh, let's put that there. Now room one. Why am I thinking about going up? Oh, yeah, I played Etrian Odyssey 5 last. Last. You go up there as well. Was there anything here? Yeah, there is. Oh, you idiot. No, it's not even that much. Okay. It, it's not terribly awful. Oh, shit. She's out of TP. There goes most of my damage in this. Well, then. Well, then. Oh, boy. If he doesn't die now, OK. We are so fucking screwed. <laughs> Shit. A fucking bunny just destroyed my entire party immediately. No. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm not. Uh, I thought I was in the save zone. Please don't let me die by tree rats. Please don't. OK. It's the Monty Python rabbit. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, 
<sighs> and this is why you go destitute in the early game of Etrian Odyssey 1. You don't get that much money, and, and this sort of shit just happens on repeat. Alright, let's... Uh, did you have really have to go to the Explorer's Guild to, to switch? God. The quality of life in the later games is so big, actually. <laughs> there you go. Dagger, bone stuff, jerkin. Okay, we got armor. No, I actually need that. Um... It's not that big of a jump, but it is an increase. So, yeah, we're, we're going to have to do this. They can't wear it. He can. Okay. Nah, I'm gonna keep that money. Also, are you not selling? No, she's still not selling it. I guess it's when you get to like floor three that she starts selling warp wires. Yeah. I also love that, um, Etrian Odyssey 4 doesn't have any of the old enemies until near the end. Then that's when they start pulling out the Etrian Odyssey 1 first stratum enemies. It's sick. I should probably actually set more skill points, huh? I just realized. Uh, custom. Two skill points. Um, I need to get both of these to level three anyway. I'm just gonna rush it. Fuck it. Immunize requires salve. So I need this at level three and healer at level three. And you need TP, my dude. You don't need TP that much. These would be nice, but... I'd rather have more songs. That would be nice. Not immediately, but... I really, really like this uh, new menu. This is so much better than what it used to be like. All right, let's hope I don't get massacred by a fucking bunny rabbit again. Classic, hell yeah. Thank you, John Kinney. I appreciate it a lot. Oh god. 
It, it's the it's the one butterfly I really fucking hate too. Uh, I want to save Al to be honest. All right, let, let's hope nobody dies. Okay, we're good. Yeah, this is one to one uh, to the original version of one, except you have actually an Odyssey three era sidestepping uh, later entries mapping. So there, there's a lot of quality of life. Yeah. Also, um, I was just in the skill tree, probably didn't see it, but we have this skill tree now. So from the later games, which I'm very thankful for. <laughs> Yeah, I'm playing this with uh, controller and mouse, kind of like how I emulated them. It uh, it feels identical to play. It's great. Is this Fender especially strong? I don't remember what the normal one was like. Yes, he is. Yeah, there's diff uh, different difficulty modes. Uh, it's the same way like with the later games where uh, you just have expert, which is the original difficulty and uh, the the easier ones. I'm going to need to run away, aren't I? Yeah, I am. This isn't even that foe. -y. Well, we're starting to get parody again. That's good. I can probably show it. Um, they usually let you ch look picnic basic expert, just like the later games. We need to run. Oh, right. There's the guy selling stuff here. <sighs> uh, weapon. I don't even have that much, I think. Yeah. God damn. Oh, yeah, you have the run button from the later games as well. Preemptive attack. Good. Let's run. <laughs> yeah, my only complaint with this version is that, um, the font looks very sterile. And that's it. I don't for me, that's not like a deal breaker like it is for a lot of people. It's not as bad as like the Final Fantasy Pixel remaster. But at least it's also not unreadable like the um, original DS version, at least in the US. Yeah, the price point is is a bit high. Some people exaggerate about it, though, like someone was arguing today. I'm not going to name names, but that uh, for the price of this collection, you could buy a DS and all of the original games on it. And it's like, no, you can't. The original DS games are going for the price of this collection individually. <laughs> it was such a weird tweet. I should probably do some quests. Oh, better shield. Nice. Survivability. Yep, you get all the games of the price of Etrian Odyssey 1 or um, Etrian Odyssey 3's box and manual no game. I was looking at eBay earlier. <laughs> the prices are absurd. 
And it's crazy because this game did get reprinted after a while as well. And even with that reprinting, it's still that expensive. Soft hide. Oh, it's that uh, stream of water in the corner, right? Yeah. Ten monsters into the codex. Do I have that many already? Yeah, they don't give EXP. Um, I think they were supposed to in two, but because of a bug, they don't. And it's the same with the FOEs. Three is when it really starts becoming useful to do this stuff. Actually, I want to check one thing. Um, explore. Organize. Resting is still five levels. Jesus. I was hoping it would be like two levels, like an Etrian Odyssey 5 or something. All right, let's go there. Let's actually gather here as well. Yeah, resting is... Um, I think the original Etrian Odyssey 1 didn't have that. You basically reset your character, uh, all of their skill points, but you lose like a couple of levels in exchange. So like if you feel you fucked up with your build, you can rest your character so you don't have to restart a character from level one. It might have been 10. I, I know it was severe. And then actually in Odyssey 5, it's very light. Yeah, retiring is different. That's the completely resetting a character and getting bonus stats for it. Useful mechanics to have, for sure. Though I kind of feel like uh, retiring especially is useful in Etrian Odyssey 3 because of New Game Plus. So you can kind of just go through the game with a fully, like, reset party with higher stats. Only example of a reclass I can recall is in Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon. Um, the entire Disgaea franchise? Oh, why am I going here? What? Now, yeah, um, in Disgaea, you can reset your characters to level one and like change their class. So they, but they keep a lot of their skills and stats. So it's like worth it to uh, do that for a lot of classes. So you could like make a fire mage, get all their spells and then like reset them to level one and as an ice mage. So you have fire and ice on one mage. It has a lot of really weird power leveling systems. I do want to cover those games at some point, but Nipponichi is now like on hold until they. Um, until they release, what's it called? Uh, Rhapsody 2. since that's coming out in English at some point. Italian releases of DS games that are cheaper but have English... No. I I've talked about Asia region games having that and being cheaper often. Like, a lot of people found out that... Um, Etrian Odyssey on Switch, the physical version. There's an Asia Asia region uh, version of that, and it has English on it. So if you really want the game physical, you can. I have a uh, East Origin uh, physical from Asia region, 
so I don't have to support limited run games. <laughs> Didn't set me back all that much. Please, please nobody die in the first combat. Okay, I can survive this, hopefully. I don't know if there's like cheaper Italian copies of stuff. Oh no, wait, I think you're thinking of something else. Uh, apparently in Italy, manga is really cheap. Uh, so you can like buy the certain manga that don't have much text in them from Italy and not pay insane amounts of money. I know someone who bought, um, what was it? Gon, that, that dragon thing that is also in Tekken 3, like, the manga for that because there's no text he bought the italian italian version i think it was that i could be wrong romero pugnatura as yeah okay foe we're here let's put the marker there Flower, Sun, and Rain having a di different art. No idea. There it is. It's an FOE. We're not going to fight it because we die. I want to look at that. Man, it looks so clean now. I'm used to this being a pixelated mess. Cool. We might fight it later on. And I want to make sure that I saved and haven't aren't really going to lose anything if I do. Actually, can you? Wait, a quick save and it's not ending the thing. Hold on, we're going to fight that FOE and eat shit because we need to. No, please don't kill me before I get to the FOE. Fuck! No! Ah, uh, there's no quick reset. God damn it. How do I exit to menu? There we go. Interesting. Okay. Oh wait, maybe the RNG is still deterministic. No, it's not. So RNG in Etrian Odyssey is very weird. Um, I fucked around with save states a little in the day. And um, if you take the same actions every time, the same events always happen. And that's why that one exploit in Etrian Odyssey 3 exists. And there it is, the famous deer. He's fucking gonna kill me. Oh no, confusion. On my main DPS. Oh, he's he's taking it easy. Nice. And there he attacks. Yeah. Yep, we're dead. That's sad. Anyway, none of that happened. I never died. You didn't, you didn't see anything. Yeah, the RNG in Etrian Odyssey is very strange, and it's been that way the entire series long. Basically, if you always take like the same actions at the same points, the same things will always happen. And because of that, people found 
Oh, they did rename it Ariadna Thread already. Interesting. And because of that, people found a way to uh, insta-kill a certain boss by reliably getting a one-hit kill on it. The only problem is you can only do it with one party member at a time because it needs certain var variables to be certain ways. No, this fucking killed me before. I, I don't want to do this encounter. I actually put footage of me uh, doing that exploit for the one hit kill to uh, power level my characters. I put that in the Etrian Odyssey 3 video while talking about uh, the game like not being perfect and kind of having some like some minor balancing issues. Because I'd figure, you know, if anyone wants to correct me and say, no, 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 you don't understand. They'll have footage right now. I do understand. Uh, if they do poison twice, I'm kind of fucked. I need to get rid of him first. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Actually, I'm fine. Oh shit, I'm, I'm not fine, actually. I need to head back already. Now I remember why this game speeds up so much when you get to that one camp. No! I was about to say, I can take these guys, but no, it's that rabbit. Yeah. It's always that rabbit. This way. Yeah, I can do this, I think. It is kind of dangerous, though, but... I say as, as this goes very easily, actually. <laughs> okay. Fuck! Why? Damn it. I almost got out safe. I almost got out safe. Ooh, a better whip. Nice. How much of an 18? Okay, that's not too bad. Oh, I still had a sword. Anyone who would... No, nobody would benefit from that sword anymore. It's already junk. Have I already seen? No. I always make this mistake. I always go there instead of here. Every game. I don't know why. Nope. All right. Let's go back to floor two. Let's actually take some of this stuff over here. I want to at least, at least get to floor three today. If I can do that in this stream, I'll be happy. If I can get to floor three, 
it, it shouldn't be too hard to get to uh, the point where you can just grind really fast. Let's set some skill points. Uh, level three. Yeah, so um, someone I was talking to today wants to put together a party with three dark hunters on the front row to try and go for ecstasy damage. <laughs> it is such a disgusting concept for a party. So Gag Shackles Cuffs spam until it's time to do extra damage to totally bound enemies. Self three times so that I get the thing to lock damage. I think this is actually going to be quite useful. All right, let's go. Let's go. Good timing on that encounter. Uh, no, I do want you to front guard. No, we haven't had a party wipe. Luckily. Actually, we did have one, but it was intentional. Um, I quick saved and I ran into the FOE. Because of course, you have to, right? God, I have to fight so much muscle memory not to keep pressing the button to show the big map. Uh, shackles. I think that should stop him in his tracks. Oh wait, I actually need to heal someone. <gasps> Why? Oh god. My front row keeps getting wiped. <laughs> this is why I don't mess with wildlife. I mean, I guess that's close enough to a buffalo. Ah, that tree in Odyssey 1 experience. It is mildly comforting, though, in a weird way. Actually, I really should just rest instead of trying to save money. So yeah, one of the 
goals with this stream. And it was the same with um, Minstrel Song. It's kind of just showing how the game is normally played. Because I'm sure that there's a lot of people who try out Etrian Odyssey 1 for the first time and the pacing is quite slow at the start and they think that they're playing especially poorly or that they're doing a lot wrong because most RPGs they've played, you know, you progress way faster. And the answer is no, you don't. It, things take a while in this game and that's perfectly fine. The later games move way faster in the early game. But one, the early game, you're going to be broke and you're going to die a lot. <laughs> okay, you fuckers really want to fight, huh? All right. I'm going to preemptively heal. <gasps> no fucking way. From full health, the tank just gets demolished. <laughs> ah. All right, we just got here. No, 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 please, no, please, no, don't, don't, don't. Okay. Uh oh. Not again. Thank God. And another encounter here, yep. Why even show up at that point? I was about to say, my money problems weren't as bad today as they were when I made my video. But no, no, the money problems are starting. <laughs> Let's gather a little bit before before going back. Oh yeah, wizardry is way slower than this. Oh, I forgot to change my rows. Is someone gonna eat shit and die? No. Yeah, Etrian Odyssey 1 will teach you patience that you're gonna re really require for other games. Like, Bardstale is very funny because, like, the first floor is the town and the town has random encounters. <laughs> you can die in the town before you even get anywhere and you have to map the town as well. Now, actually, guarding doesn't really do much against these fucks. Since they're just poisoning anyway.
Please don't kill him. He hasn't done anything wrong. You don't have to kill Al immediately. They're trying to. No. He's standing his ground. Ah, oh, that went very well, actually. That's surprising. <laughs> After the last bunch of encounters against those. Alright, let's go this way. The other way is bad luck. I do like uh, all of these things here that the series has. Like, this is the proximity to an FOE. This is how soon there will be a combat encounter. It's very nice UI design. <laughs> Imagine the critical hit one shot as really good antler gore. Yeah, that's pretty much what's happening. My favorite visual image that I always get from uh, a Train Odyssey is... I always imagine like Front Mortar from Etrian Odyssey 3 as like the Arbalist doing a point blank shot right in the face. <laughs> With that huge ass bow. Oh, nice. Uh, let's. Map this line out. This one just goes back and forth. Yeah, if he goes that direction, then I can pass. And then this is just the one thing. If I get a... Oh, oh. I was about to say, if I get a bad encounter now, I'm not going to make it back. But... We made it here. I think... I think if I go back now, I should be able to get, like, warp wires. But I could be wrong. Actually, I guess I technically have one, huh? Because I did find one. Yeah. Let's map this out properly for a bit, and then, then we'll proceed. Alright, let's go. So the thing here was, I think it was like in a straight line forward. Uh, my favorite thing from from Etrian Odyssey 5. Just holding down these stylus on the wall. Oh God, it's these fuckers. I, I don't want to fight in this room. I don't want to fight here. That, that's like death. Just immediate death. Alright. Some people got really mad about how I draw doors. Because <laughs> I have the lines here. I guess everyone has their own way of doing stuff. Yeah, you always get random encounters at the worst possible moments. That's just how things be. Ah, fuck. Oh, fuck. Blindsided. Uh-oh. Oh. Okay, good. <laughs> Uh-oh. Someone run. No. Run. Well then. 
That's a proper wipe. I'll drink to that. To be fair, I was pushing way too far. <laughs> and I knew it. I could barely survive the previous floor. What was I thinking? Now you do your floors, your uh, doors like that too. I mean, it's a nice, it looks nice. Some people fully box in their doors. Some people just don't have lines between the rooms. Some people draw the shortcuts like doors, like they'll have the lines here. I don't like this. It looks wrong to me. Man, we can already just destroy these things. The scaling in this game is weird. People are on the wrong line. That was the mistake that I had the last time. And I, I saved my game before I did that. And then I didn't save my game after that. So I need to fix this. Guild, Formation, Formation, L, Peggy, Kelly, Buck, Bud. All right, let's go. Let's focus one first before we auto combat this. So is there really no way to turn off that um, UI thing? Maybe if I cancel when it pops up. I did mess with the button display, but that wasn't it. Not seeing an option for it. So let's get back there. Uh-oh. I don't like you guys at all. Okay, good. They didn't poison anyone. Let's take this down route and just explore this area a bit more until we're leveled up enough. Okay, Let, let's hope nobody immediately eats shit. Okay. Okay, he can survive two hits. Not three, though. God damn it. Let's walk a little further until the meter is red. Orange fruit.
Good job, Peg. I guess this is the time. And they really hate Al. I guess that makes sense. No, there's no better armor. No. I just have to tough it out. And that's fine. No, canceling doesn't do anything for this. There has to be like a button. That's prime EXP. Preemptive heal. So it's gonna happen. See? How did I know? It's always really funny when you like preemptively heal a party member. Because you just know they're gonna get fucked up. And then you're right. And it's like, oh, it's as if nothing had happened. What a comfy game. up here again. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I should have done the other song. Man, I am just not lucky on stream ever. I should head back, actually. I don't have a thread anymore, right? No. Please don't block me. I just want to get out. It's fine, though. Early game poison is such a bitch to deal with. Wow, that's that's fast. At least it's just like tree rats.
No, wrong. I, I wanted to go to Shalaka. Oh, nothing unlocked. Well then. Seeing the run speed in this game feel, fills me with immense joy. I know, right? I Pyra dude, what's up? I still don't know how to remove this UI thing. It goes away after I get into an encounter. I feel like there has to be a setting somewhere. I don't even mind it that much. Like, it is nice that it exists and that it's well designed. Oh boy. I'm gonna preemptively heal Peggy. Yep, I knew it. Good gamble. And we can start putting points in Defender. We're broken. <laughs> We're endgame ready. <laughs> Not quite there for immunize yet, though. Oh, I forgot Bud. Um... I guess I want healing. That's a lot of song points. Okay. But let's let's hope we don't eat shit. I need to preemptively heal someone though. Um I'm gambling on Peggy again because she's not at full health. And they're gonna see that as a sign of weakness. Yeah, the pacing, like, in terms of combat speed, it's so good right now. You have the run, you have the fast dialogue and everything. Fuck. Yeah. No! Yeah, the new, um, skill tree is great. Shit, shit, okay. Plus... You know, if you're especially familiar with one, we have Etrian Odyssey 3 sidestepping, which, in my opinion, is the biggest improvement. Oh, shit. No! Uh-oh. This is dangerous. Okay, good. Uh, I'm gonna run this. Nope. I, I don't want to fight anything while I'm being chased by an FOE. I'm a coward. So let me go. Alright, we're here again. Yeah, I died here earlier. It's also just incredible how nice the sprites are now. Like, it's so clean, the art.
Yeah, in general, like my only complaint really is the font, and it's not a big complaint. It's quite minor. That and the price, but you know, this game is gonna go on sale at some point, probably. Uh-oh. I want to do at least one battle here before I, I run away like a coward. Let's map this. And this is where that one FOE is, which is why the encounter rate here is quite low. Yep. Let's color this in for a bit. Are there actually encounters in this room? Like now you're supposed to pull that FOE out and then, yeah, okay, there are encounters in this room. Of course there are encounters in this room. I died here. Yeah, it's mostly for people who are not on the, uh, like, immediately into it. Like, I feel like most people really into Etrian Odyssey bought this game. Like, quite a few peop number of people, like, on my friends list on Steam bought it, and I was surprised by it. And almost all of them, as their first game that they started up, they went for Etrian Odyssey 3, because of course they did. No, this is not one I want to do. <laughs> I want to do one more encounter and level up. No. Nope. Video game. Don't don't give me this one again. <laughs> All right, we're going to walk past that FOE. If Al doesn't die now. Actually, fuck, their health values are so low. We need to get out of here. Uh-oh. Yeah. Actually, fuck it. Let's... Even better. You know what? Even better. If we're gonna eat shit anyway, let's do it in style. <laughs> Not really much of a point in saving map data if I'm gonna save state. Let's get out of here. Yeah, the enemies look great. It is like so bizarre to see everything in like proper quality. Uh, I need to get the fuck out. Okay, good. Yeah, you can uh, basically save state. Quick save. Just not during combat, which is understandable. Fuck, why? <laughs> yeah, that's going to be good for post game, especially. Uh-oh. This is getting dangerous. Oh, I walked past the thing. Okay, we should be safe now. I don't think there's anything here that can kill us anymore at this point. Oh, shit. 
I meant to do this. Uh-oh. 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 Well then. I shouldn't say things. I should just never say anything. At least I saved. <laughs> my, my demonstration of a feature has saved the day. Maybe. Please do not put an encounter here. I haven't checked what the limit is. Let me, let's... Stop it. Let, let's check when we get back. <laughs> Please stop. Please stop. Okay, we made it. So I, have, oh, I meant to go to the guild, so I have to change my formation anyway. Uh, I really wish that they did that quality of life thing where you can just change it on the fly. Ah, uh, fuck it. Let's make a... I know. With one of the new sprites. What are the DLC sprites here? It's whatever this is in Joker. Yeah, fuck it. Let's make a joker. Yeah, it's still nine. It's fairly low, but it is whatever. Soul Hackers 2, lady. Oh, I never played Soul Hackers. I was thinking, there's something that I've forgotten, and it was this. Alright, let's go. So I guess you don't get... God, when do you get the ability to... It's after that quest where you talk to the people at the door, isn't it? One of the meanest things in one, where you get to the door, and then you get a quest to go back to the door. Yeah, I kind of just avoid a lot of Shin Megami Tensei stuff because the conversations surrounding it get very, very bad very fast. That said, Soul Survivor, fucking great game. Or Devil Survivor, sorry. I think the funniest thing with the uh, Seventh Dragon is that eventually, like, at Train Odyssey, like, Atlas would be bought by Sega, and Seventh Dragon is Sega, so both those IPs that have similar audiences, similar mechanics, started by the same person, both owned by Sega. Yeah. Devil Survivor is great. Like, I think that was originally intended to be a Persona game, if I'm not mistaken. It would make sense. And then it just became its own thing instead. Hey, Tokasin, what's up? Oh, right. Bud died. Shit. Ugh. The Etrian Odyssey 1 early game experience. Characters just fucking die. Actually, you know what? Let's, let's just, let's just, 
No. We didn't make any progress anyway. Let's not actually forget to uh, rearrange the lines. Yeah. Hey, Jaro. What's up? Yeah, I, I I'm quite fond of this one. I thought of it earlier this week. Like, what should I do for the party? And then I. Oh, yeah. Wait, that's that's the exact number of party members. <laughs> The funniest thing about it is that I spent serious time considering whether I should take the uh, neighbor or the dog. Marcy or Buck. <laughs> the best one won, yes. For fuck's sake. And back we go. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. I'm gonna kill. So I wanna at least kill something. Uh, maybe this was a bad call. No, it wasn't. How far away am I from getting a revive spell? That's going to solve a lot of issues. I don't think they sell nectars yet. And if they do, it's probably going to be way too expensive. There you go, Peg. No, they don't. Maybe I shouldn't rush Immunize and get Revive first. No, wait. How many points am I missing? Four. Mm. Oh, no, wait. God, that's... That's... Even worse. That's five points. That's fine. Eventually, we're going to get strong enough that, that we can progress again. Now, Bud is almost leveled up. Focus fire those. Well, I guess Street Fighter is unlocked for me right now. It's midnight. I'm gonna stream that tomorrow too, and I'm just like gonna do matchmaking for a bit. Just record that uh that launch day footage. Or posterity. I did it with Street Fighter V as well back in the day. I still have that footage. It, it's fun to look back at because, uh, oh boy, was that game not good at launch.
I've seen some retrospectives on uh, Street Fighter V, and apparently, like, if you have the perspective of the early betas, it's even worse. Because apparently anything that worked in the beta got patched out, so any tech that people found, any, like, combos that were really fun to do, all of it got patched out every beta. And then people would find something new, the next beta, and that would get patched out too. And then, like, by the time the game launched, there was nothing left. Which would explain a lot of things about how boring that game was to play when it came out. Ken was really good at the... God... It doesn't surprise me. Like, I only played the launch day version. I didn't play any betas, and I didn't really watch any footage. And, uh, yeah. I didn't play much after that. <laughs> I can say that much. I did play a little bit recently just to see if the game actually did get better or if people were bullshitting, and it actually did get better. Like, immediately after they reshuffled the people in the fighting game division at Capcom, the game improved, which is, you know, that's really good to hear. Oh, the FOE is here, and he's pissed. The sound effect of buffs going off in this series. It's something special. Let's take that bottom route. Wait, where was it actually? Oh, it's behind that FOE, right? Or no, it, it's that open area at like 4B. Let's map that. There we go. Oh, that is actually behind an FOE. I'm dumb. That would make it difficult to get out if things go bad, though. Oh boy. How dead are they? Uh, you attack someone stronger. You do that. And I don't have TP anymore. Yeah, it's about time to go back anyway. Because of TP reasons. So it's not too bad that someone dies now. Cut! Nope. Okay, we're good. We're still good. Not you guys again. I just run away from you guys. I should have healed him earlier. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, figures. Yes. Yeah, it's because I didn't heal the Protector when I had the chance. I should have healed him between combat. I would have been safe in that case, but no.
Oh, I need to... There we go. That's both of them. to get out there. Uh, yeah, let's get behind that one FOE and explore over there. the other one and then hopefully oh boy that's close no oh, hey Anna Koishi Soda you're welcome and I got a couple of Etrian Odyssey Origin collections because it looked good and cute nice it's fun. It's really fun. It's difficult, though. I, I always forget how slow the early game... This is not a good moment for combat. <laughs> please, please. Okay, good. How slow the early game of one is. Like, it is comfy, but it is probably the slowest... Er Where is it that you have the down path? Is it really that FOE? Oh, I'm going to kill myself now. I thought the downward path, down path was on this side. Unless I put a wall somewhere where it shouldn't be. Oh well. Let's see how much I can get it to. Not far. About a quarter. It's totally fine though. We are making so much progress. We mapped that corner. So has anyone seen the movie Groundhog Day? No reason that I'm asking. You blindsided me to run away? What? <laughs> the respect here. Peg, you would never believe what happened to me today. An FOE walked into the shoe store. Yeah, the downward path is over there. I can see the the corner going. And you can only get in there if you kill this one, right? Yeah. Okay, we're not going there yet then.
I think the funniest thing about these FOEs is that, like, this FOE and the one on the floor after this are, like, super strong, and then the wolves are just kind of normal enemies, and most of the rest of the FOEs in this game are kind of just slightly stronger than regular enemies, but still doable. But these first ones are just brutal to tra to drill into you. You respect these creatures. They don't fuck around. All right, let's go. No. I don't want to fight here. Good. Let's close this off. So my lesson actually stays. Uh, I never went this way. Oh. Yeah, I have to kill him first. That went well. Oh, right. That's the, uh, that FOE. Yeah. This was a circle. Let's actually color this in. and head back. We can probably survive a couple of more combats, but we'll have the experience when we get back, plus items to maybe unlock something. No, I'm doing this wrong. He needs to go first. take this. Maybe. Uh-oh. I can't take it if I miss hits. <laughs> okay, good. So one of the weirdest details about Married with Children that I learned later is that the whole Rapmaster B arc was because Bud actually wanted to be a rapper. So they kind of just ridiculed him in the show for, for his rap career. There are uh, videos like floating around online of his of his rapping. It's not good. Like, I thought it was just a parody of Fresh Prince of Bel-Air when they were doing it, but no, there was an actual reason. <laughs> Why... Why do I keep doing that? Um, let's sell all of this trash. It's quite a lot this time, actually. Yes. No, I can't afford it. And it's only one one stat point. Oh, it's also vitality, so I guess it could be decent.
That's a lot of money for just one one point increase, though. Oh, that was an encounter. Mm. All right, we're almost at the broken part. skill tree doesn't really mention which ones are the AOEs and which ones are like single target. Like I know which one is which, but it doesn't seem like the text really says it. Maybe I should go for shelter instead of attack so we can survive longer. Uh oh. Not a spot I want to be fighting in and I could survive it though, I think. Also, you need to go first. Nice. Let's put that stat point to use. Well, that's the first strong ability I've got. So Defender is like one of the big abilities you really want in this game, uh, together with Immunize from the healer. See, L like barely took damage there now. All right, let's push into. I'm not fighting you. Actually, no, wait. Let's actually fight you now. Yeah, that helps a lot. Maybe we can push to a uh, shortcut now. I saved when I got Defender, so... I am not gonna fight anyone in this room. Please go away. <laughs> All right. Uh, usually right before we get here, we get an encounter, yeah. Oh. I fucked up.
It happens. I like FOE puzzles like this. I really need to play uh, Untold 2 at some point. I keep hearing it's like really full of FOE puzzles. Some people complain about it because it goes overboard with it, but I don't know. I like those puzzles, so maybe I'll like it. I like that it at least tries to be its own game compared to the first one. Oh, hey, it's the door. Also, Huck pointed it out on Discord, but I never, we both, I guess, never noticed that mascara, like it's just not visible in the old sprite. Who's there? Demands the hard bitten woman, one hand ready to draw her katana. The adventurers appear to be veterans and have made no move to lower their defenses. Perhaps they'll relent if you tell them that you are also adventurers from Etria. Once you inform them that you are adventurers, they nod and lower their guard ever so slightly. Ah, Etrian explorers. Didn't Thorada notify you? The katana-wielding woman, realizing your ignorance, shakes her head in dismay. We have orders from the Radha to guard this place, says the severe woman with the sword. I am Ren, a ronin, and she is Lachda, a hexer. Return to town at once and get the details from Radha Hall. Ren barks these cold, sharp words and then lapses into a silent glare. It seems she should ask the Radha official, Radha official for details regarding the situation. Yep, and now we have to go back to town before we get told to go back to this door. Was there a shortcut here already, or...? This is a big encounter that I don't want to do. So I, I have to make my way back. No, but there is one here. Let's put the marker down. What is this? I have no... Oh, it's an auto walk. Okay. It's an auto walker. Those things are nice. So if you're repeatedly walking the same path, you can just automate it. Let's... no. Actually, I... How do I get past that? Am I fucked? That's be another shortcut, right? Or well, that's a gamble. Oh, okay, good. Please leave me alone. <laughs> oh, it's the one from Nexus. I still haven't played Nexus. I do want to do a video on that at some point, but that'll be a while. Oh, God. Yeah, that encounter fucked me.
I am lucky that I got out of that. Oh, all right. This was really weirdly done. So they never use walls this way, usually. Like, other dungeon crawlers have this kind of spacing for walls, but Etrian Odyssey never really does that. Yeah, I'm hoping that we'll get, um... Etrian Odyssey 4 on Steam, just so we can get... Actually, yeah, let's quick save, anyway. Just so we can get... These options in Etrian Odyssey 4. That's what I want. That's the dream. Then I'll actually replay 4 sometime. Otherwise, I'm never touching that game again for the early game. Where the game itself is a slug, and then also the encounter speed is just so slow. Like, the late game is fun, but man... Please let me... No. They're costing me money, rabbit. Okay. Now we should be okay. At least we made actual progress this time. I was about to say, not again, right? <laughs> oh. Let's see. Uh, revive you. You. And there goes all my money. That's enough to stay at the end. All right. Ah, members of Bundy, I received word that you've reached the third floor. I'm sorry, but I'll have to ask you Ask that you postpone further investigation for now. It appears there are dangerous beasts prowling the lower reaches of the grove. We're considering issuing a mission to exterminate those troublesome wolves. Until the lower floors are confirmed as safe, abandon all further exploration. A new mission is available. <laughs> Members of Bundy. The Bundy clan. We're not a guild, we're a clan. You accept then. Very good. Now then, let me give you the details. Beyond the third floor, there have been many sightings of forest wolves. This in itself poses little danger, but they seem to be organized by a leader. That leader is Fenrir, their alpha wolf, and he awaits explorers on the fifth floor. Our own warriors are capable of defeating them, of course, but I believe you've met them. But we can't be over but we can't over rely on Ren and Tjarta. Our newcomers will have no chances to grow. Their current orders are to provide support to the younger explorers. We ask them to use their help in defeating Fenrir. Is that enough to... No. I really just don't have money. Ah, there we go. And there are a hundred gold, right? Yep, I don't have that money. Let's quick save here. Because I remembered I didn't save after I changed my formation again, so... 
It's good to have another save. Let's get extra money through this. Actually, this might be enough. Yeah, there we go. Let's quick save that as well. All right, and back we go. If we can get to that camp, I'll be very happy. Because then I can just grind like crazy since there's just a healing spot there. I wonder if that's why the reason... I wonder if that's why like later games have actual camp locations. No, I don't want to fight you. No, let me go. God damn it. I want to push into that area. Get to the healing point. Good. Oh boy. If I can get to that point fresh, I'll be very happy. Or at least semi-fresh. You, get over here. And we're no longer needed here. I bid you good luck. The women stand aside as the severe Ronin offers a final word of, word of advice. The wolves are resilient enemies, but we'll help you as best we can. Be careful. Considering this, you gaze into the forest and wonder if you shouldn't stock up in town. Just an immediate encounter once I step in. All right, I'll escape this one. I'll save that I got here. Feels dirty saving in the dungeon, but oh well. And... I think this room just had an FOE. Yeah, this is that room. Why am I? There. I want to go this direction, though. More wall, close this off. An RPG that was a mix of DQ9 with all of its character customization and entry and Odyssey structure of taking quests at a guild and exploring cool locations and dungeons, but not as punishing as EO. I mean, most dungeon crawlers tend to be quite punishing. I think the Nipponichi ones aren't as punishing. The Labyrinth of Refrain 
Like, it's probably still kind of hard, but not like this. Alternatively, there's like Etrian Odyssey 4, which is fairly easy until the late game. Yeah, Nipponichi, the creators of Disgaea. Like, Labyrinth of Refrain is a dungeon crawler of theirs. So I do have to get past this then, and then down. Uh-oh. It's a roller. Also, Al has no health. I forgot to heal him. If he had full health, I would have taken that combat. People Nietzsche games tend to be relatively low on strategy and punishment, and it tends to be more about finding ways to power level really fast. Like, I remember that had interesting mechanics in terms of how EXP works as well. Like, you could bank your EXP until you get to town. No, nope, she needs to attack that one. If you like uh, power leveling and finding absurd ways to like get absurdly powerful very fast, you'll like this Gaia. That's more strategy RPG though, but Nipponichi kind of banks on that sort of stuff. Some people don't like it because it's feel shallow to them. I don't mind it. I like it. Oh, whoops. At least you have colored tiles in this one. Oh, this is the FOE room I was thinking about. Yeah, I ain't fucking with that. I guess the way it really is just that, huh? Yeah. Okay. So I should provoke this FOE. Maybe not with with a red enemy tracker. <laughs> oh wait, he, he's oh he's here. Uh oh shit. That was not the intent. Why am I like this? <laughs> yeah, so like well, the big thing with Disgaea is that you just have to figure out how to get very strong very fast. And then there's like systems where you can bring back characters to level one and keep their skills so you can power level them back to their original level really fast again and they'll be stronger than they were before. It has an absurd level cap in like all of the entries. 
And that's numbers that go up drastically. It's fun. Yeah, level 9,999. Uh, with Disgaea, if, if you're smart about it, like, there's probably gonna be a Steam sale soon, right? Wait until then, and then, like, buy the first two games at least. Um, like, if you're playing it on Steam, I don't know what it's like on Switch, but, like, on Steam, one and two go for very cheap, like, usually two or three euros. I think they raised the pri base price of the games a while ago, but they still go very cheap. You can't really go wrong with Disgaea 2 especially, but 1 is still fun and the series has a lot of quality quality of life over time, but they backported it into the ports of 1 and 2, so. I think the only one people don't like is D2, and that one doesn't have like a modern port either. Yeah, the value you get with Disgaea with those prices, it's unmatched. I don't have the money for a fuck. Mm. Yeah, the plan was to do videos on the Nipponichi games, uh, get to like Disgaea. It's a sort of journey to how that became the thing that it was, but then they announced that Rhapsody is actually getting official localization, so it's like, all right, I'll wait for that. Six is the new hate generator. Yeah, I heard. It's a shame. It's mostly, I think, because, like, they cut so many classes. Which they did because 3D models. I, I can understand why they did it. People always forget that Nipponichi is a very small company. Like, they're actually the small one, not Falcom. It's easy to forget, though, because the localization company that is attached to them, the Western branch, Nipponichi Software America, is actually bigger than Nipponichi is. So I understand why people forget. Oh, so hey, uh, Pyro Wolf, what's up? I guess I just have to grind a little bit and get money. Mostly just money to get a Ariadna thread. Otherwise, I'm not going to survive a deep push. Yeah, it's good they didn't put the PS2 ISO on Steam without updating it. What they did is they put the PSP ISO on Steam without updating it. But that's not too bad. The PSP version is very solid. Also, I usually don't play with dubs, but I quite like Disgaea's dub because um, Etna. Etna steals the show in that. Yeah, the PSP version is the same. I think it's the same with, um, God, what's it called? La Pucelle? That's also the PSP version. So if you want, you can also just emulate that, but the games go so cheap that I didn't mind buying it anyway. Oh shit, blindsided. That could be dangerous. Eh, maybe not. Maybe we're fine. Yeah, we are. Yeah, most of the ports are PSP versions. If they exist. Like, Rhapsody is straight up just the PS1 ISL, pretty much. A few people are, were mad that it wasn't the DS version, but the DS version isn't very good.
Yeah, that's a fair way to go about it. Emulate it, and if you like it, just buy it on a sale. It's not going to set you back too much anyway. But if you like insane power leveling, you'll probably like it. What's special about the PSP version? Uh, they added an Etna mode, which is um, where you play as like one of the side characters in this what if scenario. But they also uh, basically backported a lot of the quality of life stuff from the later version. Oh, the DS version of Rhapsody. Um, well, there's also a DS version of this guy, if you meant that. That one is just not good. It caught a lot of stuff. It doesn't have the voice acting, I think, which I don't think a cartridge could hold that. But Rhapsody uh, removed the battle system in favor of one more like the later games and is very buggy. And I think the Nisa version that was localized, like just hard crashes after like the start of the second or third chapter <laughs> and they never fixed it. Because people are weird. That's why. People want the original version of Romancing Saga 1 on Steam instead of Minstrel Song. And th those are people who are not um, in tune with Romancing Saga, obviously. Because the Super Nintendo version is not a good game. I, I can say that quite confidently. The Fate Stone quest isn't properly implemented. The battle system isn't very good. None of the content is there. And the PlayStation 2 game is a very complex, interesting, fascinating title. This uh, Friday, my review video for Romancing Saga Minstrel Song is going to come out. And spoilers, it is one hour in length. I had a lot to say. I can't believe I finally became an essayist. I should not have auto-battled that. I am so lucky. Uh, Gyro, no. The Wonderswan version broke as much as it fixed. It, it's completely broken in a different way. <laughs> it's not good either. You'd hope it fixed a lot, but no. I do think they properly, like, put in the Fate Stone quest in that one, though. It's not like the... the first saga from the Game Boy on the Wonderswan, where it's just objectively a superior version. Thank God that got fan translate. Why did I... Uh... Am I dead? No. Walking and talking, it's very dangerous. I mean, I get it with the first uh, Romancing Saga. They were trying a lot of stuff. It's a very ambitious game, especially for its time, and it didn't pan out. And then, like, Romancing Saga 2 is just such a step up in every single way. Brutal as hell, though. I can't believe I've actually finished that game more than once. <laughs> Come on, I, I just want to get to... I am not using up an Arya and a threat for this. Shit. No! I am reloading. Hmm. 
<laughs> that is not going to go well. This is just saving time at this point. Uh, I already bought one, right? No, I didn't. I'm very curious about the next Saga title. Like, will they do another remaster before the end of this year? They probably will. We've been on like a steady clip of at least one Saga game per year, like counting re-releases. If they do a re-release, then that means we are getting uh, unlimited, which is crazy. <laughs> But I'm also very curious, like, what the next actual game is. Since every Saga game is so distinct. Like, personally, I kind of just hope, want a game that, um, built on Scarlet Grace. Because that game has so much going on that no other game has. And it would be nice to play that with a larger enemy roster. Unlimited 2. <laughs> <laughs> uh, imagine the huge anger that would cause. All right. So when we get to the next floor, I am going to save immediately. I'm not making this entire journey again. All right. Yeah, it's really nice seeing the game move this fast. Uh oh. I was about to say, is it going to happen again? But no. Oh shit, not here. No. All right, he made it to safety. That is like the worst possible spot to get stuck in. I don't think you can swap. Maybe you're allowed to swap difficulties um, on anything but expert. I'm not sure. Everyone but seven. Uh, I do feel bad for the uh, actress in Married with Children. Like they did that whole pregnancy thing because she was actually pregnant. Except um, her kid died. I think she had a miscar miscarriage or something. And then she just had to keep like the character going with that pregnancy in the show. No, I don't. I'm not going to make it. Also, hey, Sleepsy, what's up? Yeah, that's that's the situation that happened. It's very unfortunate. Oh, for No, I do not accept.
Okay. No, I'm not gonna fight you guys. Stop it. Oh, God. They really want her dead. Jesus. Come on. Maybe if I change the uh, RNG a little. Yeah, it's going to be useful for the late game stuff in three. It's going to be useful in the post game here, as well as um, actually being able to map anything at all. Since you have way better mapping tools. OK, the RNG is still this deterministic. OK, that was like the exact same battle as before. So I mapped this wrong. This goes there. Uh, this fucking FOE. No. Stop killing Peggy, Jesus. Okay. Okay, I got it. I got it. What we're going to do is. Yeah, I never beat one's post game. Uh, I might do it with the remaster at some point. I remember now we have to drag him here. You. Oh, for. F so Buck is going to get poisoned. Yep. <laughs> The RNG is still the exact same shit. Now, what they did is um, in the show, she ended up having the kid and then later they uh, wrote the kid out of it. I think that was how it went. It was really bizarre. A lot of sit sitcoms kind of struggle with that sort of stuff, like um, Dan's heart attack and Roseanne. That's like one of the most bizarre ones ever. Like Roseanne's entire final season gets retconned by um, just this weird final scene where it's like, oh, yeah, no, uh, none of this was real. Roseanne was writing a book about the events, fictionalizing everything about the people that she knows. Why did you watch this season? Fuck off. And they did it solely because nobody liked that season. Yeah, the pregnancy plotline was a bad dream that Al was having. That's it. Like they had to do something to to get that out. All right, if I'm going to just save scum a little bit. Because I am so close to, to the room that I want to be at. I'm at the room.
Yeah. This is the uh, hint that wolves uh, will basically chase you when you're in combat. Anyway. Oh, and Roseanne, yeah, the uh, daughter changed actors, and the rumor is that it was because one of the executives or producers was trying to groom the original daughter. So everyone decided that it was best to get her out of the show as soon as possible, so they swapped actors. Sitcoms, they're fucking awful. <laughs> the entire history around all of them is terrible. Like, if anything, Married with Children had one of the better ones. Like, it is a rumor. Like, uh, allegedly in Minecraft, this happened. But someone asked Roseanne during an interview, like, 20 years later, and Roseanne just froze and went, how the fuck do you know about this? So, yeah, it happened. <laughs> allegedly in Minecraft. Anyway, this, this is the healing room. Um, you can return to this spot and heal as many times as you want until you've beaten the boss of this stratum. Which means we are going to level here. <laughs> like if anything, Mer with children, uh, didn't have that much drama on set from what I know. I think the only thing is that, uh, the actress playing Marcy actually hated everyone and got into fights with the rest of the cast multiple times. And at some point she threatened to walk uh, as she tried to make a scenario where it's like, it's either me or him about uh, the actor playing L uh, at O'Neill. And he was like, well, th this show is about me and like the rest of my family. So, you know, what are you trying to do here? <laughs> The neighbors are replaceable, but not us. That's basically what he said. And she backed down. He's also never in any of the reunions, so there definitely was bad blood there. Yeah, so we're going to level here. Oh, yeah, two and a half men had a ton of drama as well, didn't it? I think the main, the real fucked up one is Al. Because to make that stupid fucking puppet work, they had to put holes in the floor. So the entire cast just has PTSD because they had to walk around on the set with all these like deep... I do have to reset for this. <laughs> with all these deep fucking holes in the floor for the puppetry to work without ever looking down, so they can't see if they're anywhere near it. And I think almost all of them were, like, borderline insane near the end. Yeah, a lot of people thought it was a midget in a suit. No, they had this fucked up set. It's awful. I think they think that because I think it's the intro where it is actually a midget in a suit, like for one shot. And that's it. Can I just be luckier with encounters for three seconds, please? God, sitcoms are weird to think about. Because it is this thing of like all those actors had to be so close and pretend to be a family for so long. That's going to fuck you up either way. This is the same RNG that that got Peggy killed earlier, isn't it?
Yep. Give me one good RNG, please. Though, if I see this encounter again, I'm just running. I wonder, is the map still saved? It does look saved. Interesting. So you can quick save map and then... Huh. That's neat. I'm just take, making random actions in the hopes that, that it changes the RNG. Let's go. Chest. What's in it? Okay. I mean, it's not bad. I was hoping for like armor or something. Uh, let's one shot this dude. This is better. All right, let's close this off. Let's paint underneath here. There, all tidy. You have got to be fucking kidding me. I guess that's what I get for pushing in too fast. Alright, last reload. After that, I'll have to just take the consequences of my actions. Kids call pro gamer moves an L now. No, those poison things need to go. Salve. Fuck it. I can be wasteful with my TP. That worked. That is extremely wasteful with TP, though. That I can only do that like one battle at a time. Uh, let's do it this way. And then go back to the room. What? Does that room revive? 
I don't think it does. No, that wording is HP and TP. It's probably not. Oh, it is. I I reloaded those saves for nothing. Super popular streams, only men screaming in echoey rooms with no sound dampening whatsoever. Uh... Like, my audio isn't perfect, but at least I have sound dampening stuff in my room. And <laughs> I don't screech, yeah. I mean, it's, it's 1 a.m. It would not be a good idea for me to do that. Like, a lot of the stuff I have on my walls isn't even so much for the stream, it's for my neighbors. Because I tend to record late at night. So there's no noise from them. watch too many people on Twitch. Like, I do want to expand, like, what I watch, but every time I look around, it's like, eh, no. Like, I don't like sound alerts, so that already, um, removes 99% of Twitch for me. For no, I need to escape from this. And I need to head back to the healing room. If I wasn't blindsided, I could have done a proper fight, but... I've watched a couple of dot level streams. They're all right. I do watch um, Retro Pals every now and again, but their their schedule is like way too late for me usually. Is my formation now fucked? Oh wait, I can still do this. Okay, good. Fuck. Like, I've actually found a lot of games that I ended up liking through Retro Pals. Um, oh wait, he doesn't have skill points, what am I doing? Alright, one more level and we can mitigate almost all damage. Let's put one point there. Oh, whoops. No, that's not the intent. Let's see, who else do I watch? Um... There's this speedrunner I watch. I usually don't like speedruns all that much. But, um, what's his name? Grayskull? 
Like, he tends to marathon like a whole bunch of games in one speedrun marathon, and that's kind of comfy. It's always NES games. Mm, let me, let me... copy-paste those to look into later. Thank you for the suggestions. I'll probably be watching a lot of Street Fighter soon. <laughs> Just for study. I, I need to find out who the good Judy players are. And I need to steal their tech. Oh, thank God, it's not a death. I thought he was gonna die there. Also, uh, Tepid Snake is someone I watch a lot. Uh, that's the guy who writes the Gaming Hell website, which is also a very good resource for weird retro stuff. Oh, yeah, sure, shoot. Smiling as if to congratulate you on your steady progress, the warrior woman greets you. It seems there are no wolves on this floor yet, she remarks. I'll give you some advice before you go back on your way through the forest. The trees are not always impassable as they look. Finding the hidden paths will allow you to move. Yeah, okay, this is the shortcut tutorial because the shortcut is here that I already mapped. Yep. So many targets. I don't have AoE stuff. Gaming Hell. It's a uh, website. Uh, it's like GamingHell.co.uk, I think. That goes over very obscure and weird games. And the person writing it is extremely knowledgeable about them. And they stream these days under Tepid Snake. Not Peggy again. I'm gonna see if I can still power through this. Uh oh. Yeah, the collection finally released. Um, came out today, actually. I'm just messing around with it. Oh, also, hey, Eliosha, what's up? Let's go back to that and hope we don't die along the way. No, I don't want to fight you. No. Okay, good. Yeah, it looks very clean. Plus, it has like the sidestepping for Metroid Odyssey 3, so you can just. We're, we're at the point where we can power level. I was hoping to get here today. That was like the goal. Since that's the moment that the uh, early game really speeds up. Tactics Ogre Reborn. Nice. Yeah, my favorite um, remaster. My next video is about it. And that's uh, Romancing Saga Minstrel Song. That video is an hour. It's coming out tomorrow.
Yeah, married with children. That's my party. Uh, I think at this point I should probably put some points in HP. I know about Vexandra, yeah. She mostly likes Frontier, which I'm not a fan of. Let me copy paste a few of those and I'll look into them after the stream. Probably while trying out Street Fighter. <laughs> Avatar TLA team. Yeah, that works. The one I'm most happy with still is my um, Etrian Odyssey 5 team where I went Slayers. That worked out really well. So this is a take spot. There you go. I'm starting to get used to this UI. I'm no longer accidentally opening the map. So... We're making progress with that. Muscle memory is being defeated. Actually, let's boost. Oh, not everyone has it. Oh, yeah, they died. So, of course, they don't have it. Yeah, um... They fixed a bunch of bugs, but they didn't fix the bugs that are positive to the player, so um, I am going for the overpowered ability. Or at least the overpowered defensive ability. I'm double dipping on it because I also have Defender. I mean, yeah, I've beaten the entire series last year. Did videos on all of them. The only thing I didn't do was the uh, post games. All right, we're good. Five gets hard. Four's uh, late game also gets hard, but not as hard as most of this game. <laughs> Let's preemptively heal because these fuckers are going to be annoying. Yep, there they go. Actually, let's rear guard, actually. That's better. Focus on him. All right, we should be good. Yeah. Oh yeah, the character portraits are gorgeous. They're so good now. I'm gonna go until my bag is full and then sell everything because by then I should be unlocking new stuff in the store. I 
should be unlocking new stuff in the store. What am I, Missy? I did check. Missy's speech is still bizarre in this version. <laughs> I'm very happy about that. Yeah, like, we cut past the worst part of it. Like, when you get to that healing point in on floor three, like, you can get just power level instead of having to go back every three seconds. Uh... Oh, I'm out of TP. So let's map this corner and head back. Oh. Oh, hold on. This... Oh, right. I mapped it once and then I ate shit. And then I forgot to map it again. That's what was going on there. Yeah, he redid the soundtracks. He's crazy. The man is very passionate about what he does, and I respect it. It's such good range too. Like Etrian Odyssey 5 soundtrack is so different from everything else, but still great. He was tweeting earlier today about how he uh, used the same bass sound that he used in uh, Ease Book 1 and 2 originally. Often just post stuff on like YouTube where you just see like how he put the songs together. It's great. All the sound channels. Should be good with this now, right? Yeah. Yeah, we have someone who did a book about, um, CRPGs, but I think he hates Japanese output or something. He got kind of pissy about um, these remasters dropping today as well. That's a shame. I mean, Atlas has made a official wizardry game on PlayStation 2. That game has such a sick atmosphere. Full is my inventory now. Not even. Wow. All right, let's explore a bit more.
Oh shit. Yeah, I should do shelter at least once. Because of that. Uh, we already got past the dare. The dare is on floor two. We're on floor three. Yeah, I expected that. Yeah, the first two FOEs take very long before you're allowed to kill them. And then, like, the third FOEs, you're supposed to be able to kill them when you get to the floor. I only ever played Etrian Odyssey 1. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. When was the last time I made a quick save? Okay, good. Why is there another deer here? Please do not die. Okay, good. I'm not exploring that corner anymore. We're gonna go here, and there's also an FOE here, so that's good. Oh, my rose got switched because, yeah. So you only played one, you haven't played, um, why did I do this this way? You never played three. Three is like the best one of the DS trilogy. Love three a lot. Like, 3 just has a really good atmosphere and setting. It's very much its own thing. And the 4 kind of just goes back to basic again. At least for the early game. Like, it kind of... The early game of 4 kind of feels like a mediocre return to what one and two were like. I never played Dragon Quest seven. The PlayStation one RPG library is like such a black hole for me. European availability like real. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Maybe it is time to go back. Oh, no, never mind. Yeah, I, I keep hearing, like, Dragon Quest VII is absurdly long. Like, weird fact, but Dragon Quest VIII is the first Dragon Quest that came out in Europe. Yeah, VIII is the first one that came out in Europe. And 
7 was our first proper Final Fantasy. I think we did get Mystic Quest, but 7 is the first mainline one we got. I don't even think we got the Legend games, but a lot of stores still had it because the um, Game Boy was region free. Yeah, Dragon Quest Eight is fantastic. Honestly, the weirdest thing with, like, European availability... Oh, hey, I got the things. The weirdest thing with European availability is that, um... Xenosaga, we only got the second game. Why the fuck did we only get the second game? It was a collector's edition. Collector's edition only. At, like, a way higher price than a normal game. Yeah. I mean, that game makes no sense on its own. It, it doesn't have a start or ending. It, it just starts in the middle of a story. It cannot stand on its own feet whatsoever. I could probably survive a little bit on the next floor. Yeah, okay, I can definitely survive there now. on this side I don't remember so the other side is where the next floor is oh well that answers that nah let's kill him yeah so immunize is the uh the big ability that just renders most damage moot. Good night, Rohomilt. Thanks for stopping by. not fight this one. God damn it, still get the poison damage. <laughs> okay, new goal for today's stream. Kill one FOE. The wolves aren't that strong, so it, it should be doable by now. And if not, then I, I need to go back, get equipment, and then I can do it. There's a wolf. Yeah, the butterflies are just really annoying because poison damage in the early game is just so tough. And you'd think that poison damage is great when you see that damage in the early game from them, but no, poison is stupid. It doesn't do that much later on. 
The damage cap is still the same, apparently. Someone tested it already. All right, let's boost. Defender. Uh... He's probably going to bite. I just want to be sure I kill this FOE. Got that. Oh shit. Fuck it. We'll use an item for this. It's worth it. Let's boost fire. All right, we're killing this FOE. No survivors, except my party. Nice. Probably a decent sword, I'd guess. From their fangs. I I don't remember. It's been a while. That's decent. I'm also glad that we have the dynamic icons. At least for this and shortcuts, not for gathering for some. Are you cornering me? All right, let's save. Defender. Gag him. We don't get... Oh, God. At least I saved before this, so if I die... Well, that's the difference with immunize. <laughs> we demonstrated why that is so strong. Mm -mm. No, maybe not. Ah, uh? ah, uh? jeez, that's that's close. <sighs> All right. I. Cannot believe how close that got. <laughs> and X, buff coat, hide gloves, bravant. Okay. At first, though, we have to revive everyone. You actually have to... Okay. You actually have to give the hides here. But whatever, I need the money more right now. I'll get more hides later. Why am I saving twice? Yeah, I got so lucky there.
It's not worth that much. This would be decent, though. At least I have the shortcut so I can get back there faster. All right, let's go. Let's run. Auto these? Yeah, I can. I think one of those bunnies fucked me up before. Yeah, I'll focus one. Like this. Sure. Uh, let's actually heal Peggy. Why now? Oh, he's almost dead already. Nice. You do notice the smallest increases in power in this game really fast. Pathways flash. I still need to watch that, I think. Yeah, I still do. How was it? <laughs> Let us name this man Golf. Uh, Tomino's names. I think the funniest one, and it isn't even like him being weird. I mean, besides full frontal, because it's full frontal. Um, the weirdest name he's ever done, in hindsight, is uh, Rei Asuka. That, that's where um, Ano got those names from, from one Gundam character, because of course he did. Why am I going this route? watching much anime lately just Oshinoko because it's Oshinoko and uh, I've finally been watching Kaguya-sama season two so I don't watch it yet so I've pretty much just been watching stuff from one single author it's a great author though
the, the main weekly thing I've been, for fuck's sake, the main weekly thing I've been watching isn't anime. It, it is in that direction, though. Um, I've been keeping up with Kamen Rider Geats as it's airing, and it's maybe my favorite writer at this point. It's very solid. I haven't seen that much, though. I've only seen um, the original Kabuto W Forze Gaim... X Aid. How could I forget X Aid? <laughs> I'm I'm very much looking forward to watching uh, Hideaki Anno's movie at some point. Yeah, I figured. Oh, this is a mine spot. Um, did I have points? Because I know Al can learn mine. There we go. I think these drop from the FOEs as well on floor two. Oops. Is there actually anyone else who I haven't gotten skills for? Yes, there are. I'll put one point in this. It doesn't hurt to have that. Mushoko Tensei is very good. Same with Mushishi, Planetis. Yeah. Uh, let's save here, actually. Okay. That FOE is a little too close to the other one. I don't know if I can do two wolves at one at once at this point. This is fine, though. Let's gag him. Immunize, fire, bravery. Oh yeah, that's another thing uh, with that train odyssey. I don't know if one was this way. It probably is. Uh, you have a maximum of three buffs. So, also it's nice to have this menu here. Uh, I don't think Etrian Odyssey one natively had this menu. This is from later entries too. If you get like a fourth buff, the bottom one gets pushed out. Yeah, they also uh, added this from the later games, where you can just see all the weaknesses at a glance, the codex. These are the real quality of life things that are just... Yeah, it, it was necessary to have this here. Like, realizing the 3DS games have that was a big moment. That's how this floor worked. Yeah, I recently started putting a bunch of uh, books on my e-reader. Uh, because I want to read... Uh, God, what's her name? Um, the Bookworm anime. The Bookworm Isekai about the girl who wants to be a librarian and gets born, reborn as a peasant in like the Middle Ages, so in the Dark Ages, so she has nothing. Commoners aren't even supposed to be reading books. Shit. 
I need to run. Actually, I could survive it. Yeah, they're making a Pluto anime. I'm very excited for that. anime I'm looking forward to now are um, Dungeon Meshi, obviously, and uh, Free Ren, the, the elf. Apparently the Free Ren anime is being done by the director of Bochi the Rock, so that's like the perfect director for that. Yeah, I've still mostly been going through uh, Tanya the Evil and Slayers in terms of light novels. That's a good time. Oh yeah, the next chapter of Dungeon Meshi. Potentially the last one at this rate, isn't it? Like, one or two more chapters, probably. It's kind of insane that it's almost over now. Yeah, this is a safe distance. Let's do it. Berserk is apparently going to continue with the assistance, yes. It's, from what I'm hearing, it's quite respectfully done. It's not like a shitty IP has to go on way. We'll see. Did I actually set? Yes, I did. Okay. I still can't believe that Dungeon Meshi, like, they're sticking with the plan. I, I thought that was, like, a dumb thing that they brought up as a joke or something that they'd never go through with, but no, they're, they're actually gonna do it. I uh, why are you this way? It's a big meal for everyone. Also, now I'm reminded I need to continue Vinland Saga at some point. The manga. Someone needs to get, like, Chris Voiceman to do one of those Leon-style videos, but with Lyos about his sis eating his sister. Oh, that's a good armor, isn't it? Yeah. back to the save point just for TP. This is a dangerous encounter, though. So 
so let's triple protect. Ah, that beautiful sound. Wait, I've been streaming for four hours? <laughs> Time flies when you're playing Etrian Odyssey. It really does. It's comfy, though. Yeah, Etrian Odyssey will do it to you. I didn't think I'd be streaming this long, but like then I got to like the the camp. And it's like, yep, yep, I can do this forever now. It really is such a great dungeon crawler series. I shouldn't have called this game comfy. That, that was my mistake. Let's heal again. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. Thought we got past this point. All right, we're back. Yeah. I don't know what it is with Atlas and their reluctance to bring stuff to PC, even though all their games always do very well on here. I'm just glad that um that that feeling that I had that Etrian Odyssey would always do well with a PC port, uh, especially if you could do controller and mouse the way I did when I emulated it. And now here we are and it's like, hey, yeah, this works. It works exactly the way it did when I emulated it. It's like it was made for this. Like, I genuinely prefer controller and mouse over um using original hardware for this series. That's because I'm left-handed and anything with a... Peggy, stop dying for a second, please. <laughs> anything with a stylus um, is just not friendly for left-handed people. That's like the one thing I don't like about the DS. She's not phased at all by how many times we just come back to heal our huh. Yeah, no, I'll immunize still and get rid of this fucker and do shelter. And now we just auto attack. Yeah, they must have known. Now I hope that this sends a signal to other people making dungeon crawlers that you can just have a mapping tool and let people do that with the mouse and keyboard.
like it is kind of bizarre how games just have not done that that much. Instead, you have to use third party mapping tools, so you basically get the same result in the end. All right, let's kill this FOE. Let's kill him. Now let's hope he doesn't attack Peggy. So if he does, maybe, maybe she'll survive. Probably not. Okay, good. Now we can go all out. map around this corner. <laughs> I need Peggy as a Dragon Quest coffin at all times. What? What is this? Dragon Quest 2? They're just so infamous that certain party members are just dead at all times. Defender, attack him, I can't heal anymore, recovery, yes. It's not a sure thing, but hopefully it'll help. It didn't help, and Peggy is dead again. Alright, we got a horn out of it. And I'm gonna go back to town anyway, so. Cause I need to take a bathroom break and stretch my legs a little. I'll be right back. All right, there we go. <clears throat> it's a very good idea to not stream for like two months and then come back and immediately go for a super long stream. My body is used to this, definitely. Let's see, uh, skill points.
Let's put more in whips. I want to get ecstasy and see if I can ever pull that off. I think I'm fine with one point of immunize for now. We should just try and get revive. So like the thing with a lot of the skill points in Etrian Odyssey 1 is that you either want one point to have the ability or max it out and nothing in between, unless you you need the points to unlock something after it. It's, it's very weird that way. I'm glad that later Etrian Odyssey games didn't always have 10 points for all the skills. So you can do way more stuff with uh, your builds since you don't need to commit a full 10 points to everything you want to use. Hmm. Yeah, we might as well just max out bravery. Yeah, it, it gets better. I think Etrian Odyssey 2 already gets better about it, and that's why the gunner is so good, because the gunner can just max out a whole bunch of abilities and, and just do so many things at once. Like the gunner can remove status effects, they can do like AoE elemental attacks, high damage, like single target attacks. They could do a lot. Oh yeah, that was only one point. That wasn't that interesting. Nobody else can wear a plate in my party. Oh wait, hide glove. There's probably something I can... Not for you though. Hide hat. Not beneficial for anyone. Hmm. Weapons. Not really beneficial for anyone either, I think. Uh, okay, how much is it going up? 22. Okay. Sure, why not? Really answers the question of what would happen if you brought a gun to a fantasy land. Uh, don't remind me. I recently played Nino Kuni 2. And like it has that super cool intro of of the president of the United States getting isekai'd and pulling a gun on the fantasy people. And then it just does nothing with it. It's so frustrating. Like immediately after it's like, oh yeah, everyone just has guns in this setting. And it's like, okay, so why does anyone use a sword? No, guns are just normal in the setting, so he, he has guns, but so do, do a lot of other people. There's nothing special about guns. It's so lame. He runs out of bullets, but they have magical ammo clips, so he has guns for- so he has infinite bullets, because that's just the technology they have. They think, oh, maybe they're going to do something with him, like being from this futuristic setting that is our setting. But then, no, there, there's a fucking city in that game that has more advanced technology than we do. And they have Facebook. I played that game up to the final boss and then I just stopped playing because I didn't want to have that game on my list of games I've beaten. Because fuck that game. It doesn't improve. It just gets even more baffling the longer it goes on. Like, it is not a difficult game, but a lot of enemies don't have hits done, so they will always armor through your attacks. And then you'd think like, oh, maybe these developers never made an action RPG, so they don't understand how to make this fun or satisfying. But no, this is level five. They got their start with like Dark Cloud. They've been making 
action RPGs since the moment they started. And then you have the town builder stuff, and that is kind of cool, but you can only like build the buildings in the exact slots. So it's like, here's the slot for the armory. Here's the slot for like the the I don't know, the, the training thing. Here's the slot for the shop. And then there's ideal villagers for those things. So you can't like experiment and mix and match. No, you need to get the right people in the right slots. It's all predetermined. It's very strange to hear because they made Dark Cloud, a game that understood how to do this way better. Yeah, it's so, so strange. I love Dark Cloud. That game was so cool. I wasn't as big on the second game, but it was still okay. The second game would consistently freeze for me across multiple discs and like PlayStation 2s and I I kind of want to test if it still does it emulate it okay I'm fine uh, it would always freeze uh, playing the miniature golf stage uh, miniature golf minigame on certain stages specifically if you lost And I don't know if that's the European version that just does that. If it was because the disc was scratched in a certain way across multiple discs. I want to see if I can get away with this. I can, but at a huge cost. Let's heal up again. Yeah, I really wanted to like Nino Kuni too. Yeah, and I there just wasn't that much to like, and it's a shame. Yeah, I even had that crash in Dark Cloud 2 with a um burnt disc and a modded system. It's like extremely consistent with it. Dark Cloud 2 has way more um, production value, but the base game itself feels kind of toned to da pared down a lot because of it, maybe. It's strange. Meanwhile, Dark Cloud 1 feels very budget and small, but at the same time, it has a lot of interesting stuff going on. They're very much PlayStation 2 era games, though, back when, like, you could do anything in a game. Oh, fuck, my party is still the wrong way around. The red crab, yeah. That that's part of why I didn't stick it out with the party being that way. What do we get? That's decent. Oh shit. this corner or straight and this connect 
No, it didn't. <laughs> this is a dead end. All right, Defender. Yeah, he's strong against fire. I, I need another element. Let's get rid of these side goons. And I got bound, fuck. I think I can outlast him. Yeah, uh, Etrian Odyssey 5 has so many dungeon offense. It's great. Also, the way I just fought this this crab reminds me of um, a lot of JRPG discussions like really hate uh, physical resistant enemies in general, like Flans in Final Fantasy X. Like they think that's the worst designed enemy ever. And it's like, just just use magic. Just do something else than just hit attack. Some people only ever use attack in these games, and I don't I don't get why how you get enjoyment out of that. Oh god, oh god. Okay, I'm good. I mean, to each their own, right? Like, if you get enjoyment out of that, sure, but how? Now that is a reward. <clears throat> Yeah, we're acclimating to this floor. Let's not immediately push forward, though. Oh, right. It's further this way. Oh, no. Okay, good. They're blind. How does this look so good? It really says something about the uh, art direction in these games. Even though, like, that feeling of, oh, the art direction is really strong, like, for most people, it doesn't start until 3, which, yeah, that's fair. 3 looks great. Like, I really, um, earlier today, I, I booted up 3 just to walk through, like, Waterfall Woods. I had to see it. I had to see Waterfall Woods in full HD. Yeah, the footsteps are really cool. Like, it, it creates a very consistent rhythm to the exploration, which also helps, like, keep track of how many steps you're taking very easily. It's so good. Let's let's head back to heal and then we'll push into the next floor. All right, let's go.
Oh, no debuff? Now oh, there he goes. Is there anything in this corner? Nope. Ah, uh, with this many, I'd still want to defend, immunize, and shelter. And now we just go full attack, because we're invincible. <laughs> Two crabs. Why does everyone hate Al? What has he ever done? Nope. Not going to do that. Let me out. All right. Next floor. Staring down the roar. Part of me wonders if they did all those subtitles for the floors because of how Yuzo Koshiro, like, titles his songs. Since he always gives every, like, theme a unique name besides just field, town. Uh, the battle themes in Etrian Odyssey have such great names. Uh-oh. Talk about scary. Oh, he went down fast, at least. Uh, he had to kill Peg. He just had to. All right, I wanted to map as much as I could before combat, but we're on red, so. Ironic, because it's Peggy who died. I am so glad that they merged those items into the regular shop in the later games. I mean, they straight up just removed a building. Is that worth... Just one point of agility? It's not worth it. Since you can just revive people in the inn later on. Yeah, Peggy really loves uh, sitting on the couch.
it, it's true to the show. All right, let's go. I don't think I can kill an FOE on this floor yet, but I'm going to try. Just for the fun of it. Oh, uh, wrong button. This one. Why? Why is there an encounter right before him? No. No. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. That is not how that is supposed to go. Now we're in it. Okay. Maybe. Uh oh. Maybe not. Ah, <laughs> uh, we might still make it. But with everyone alive even, wow. Yeah, if it was for Immunize, I would not have survived this. If it, if it wasn't for like Immunize and Defender, I would be dead. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna heal and then I'm gonna explore that area. since that is fairly large, if I remember right. Oh, fuck off. Uh... Oh, yeah, nobody died. That's, like, one of the first times that I come here without a death. Stop selling bows, please. Sell something I can use. Nice. the line. Yeah, this area is big. All right. That's another locked door. Damn it. Let me place the door on the map. Don't interrupt me. Uh, locked door.
Oh. Blind as always. You guys are dead. And this is the part with the FOE, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Shit, why here? Well, at least this this combat isn't scary or anything. Uh, move it up one notch. I forgot about this big zigzag pattern here. <laughs> All this for him? Yeah, okay, that's worth it. A nectar so we can actually revive. Debating if I'm gonna go back to town or just gonna rush to where I was. Probably just gonna rush. Can probably survive that. Though this is a long hallway. I see how Corona can like stream for 24 hours straight. Actually, I don't. I don't know how she does that with her energy. I don't know where she gets the energy from, to be honest. <laughs> it is absurd how she can keep that up for so long. Oh, God. Why there? Why there? I did miss the uh, orange fuzz balls in uh, five and four. And though what those games do with that is, uh, you know, it would be very hard to do with these fuzz balls. Like Etrian Odyssey, I think it was two, like had real issues with being able to track movement because the detail is way too low for the complex motions they wanted to do. I am not gonna auto battle the rest of this. This is dangerous. 
Like there's one floor in particular where I had to kill one of the FOEs to make sense of the movement pattern. It's the, the one with the turtles walking in a circle. Uh, but they move... I think they move twice and then they take one turn. Uh, they stop moving for one turn and then they move two turns again. Actually, no, this is the old display for FOEs. They don't slide. So actually, Tree Odyssey 2 might still be difficult in that area, the track. Yeah, like I want to think that it's easy to stream longer if you just lose track of time. But like Coronet keeps track of time because she always makes sure that she doesn't go over 12 hours on the VODs. Otherwise, YouTube doesn't save them. So she breaks the VOD and, and immediately starts a new one. Yeah, she's insanely dedicated. <laughs> I was watching her play Street Fighter earlier and she was just like playing uh I think it was level 8 CPU for like hours. After playing uh against her audience for like an hour. And she's not good enough to win against a level 8 CPU, so it's like not an easy thing that she was doing for herself. The CPU in um, Street Fighter has bullied professional players. So that's level 9. I think the gap between every level in that game is very big. But I do remember the days when I, I just for fun, would just bully the CPU in Guilty Gear X2 on, like, the highest difficulty. <laughs> And I just go through arcade mode without dropping around for fun. God, I was so deep into that. Yeah, X2 uh, slash reload was when I got really into fighting games finally. Like, that's when it finally actually clicked. Because <laughs> I played fighting games before that, but never really that deeply. Let's put a marker there that this is our mining spot. There we go. Oh, I'm gonna run. Peggy, don't die. Okay, good. Exard or Blaze Blue? I didn't like Exard that much. I didn't hate it, but it had the issue of being like an Unreal Engine game. So input delay, which 
if you're used to Guilty Gear without that, it's going to feel very rough. Game is gorgeous, though, and it did have very fun mechanics. Wow, that's that's a really easy encounter up for this floor. What the hell? Fair. Nobody uses those. Uh, uh. Or is was spear actually a weapon class? Or is it, it? It's it's a sword. I was about to say it becomes an actual weapon class later. But now it's just a really strong sword. At least Exard, uh, the lag wasn't as bad as Street Fighter V, which was just unacceptable on any level. I I'm so glad that, um... Capcom has their own engine now that is very good. Yeah, PlayStation 4 in general has a delay because the PlayStation uh, controllers, the DualShock 4, has a lot of delay built in by default. Uh, whether you're playing wired or wireless, like the delay is so bad that wireless is actually less bad than wired, which is bizarre. It's not because because it's so good wireless. It's just bad. So yeah, then on top of that, Street Fighter V also had like over 10, 10 milliseconds input lag by default because of the engine. So then imagine playing that online. So you also have the input lag of online. It was so awful. And... Exard was smart enough to change the way that inputs are registered, where it like buffers them. So you can press buttons ahead of time when like your move is coming out, you can press the next one. Street Fighter wasn't that way. Unfortunately. All right, let's let's try. Remember these being way worse, or is it because there's an FOE variant? Or maybe later entries, they're they're actually way tougher. It could be any of these. Yeah, six, the betas were exceptionally fun, and I'm looking forward to go back. Like, if I wanted to, I could end the stream right now and go back. I I, I did pre-order it. Oh, no, I'm not fighting another one of you. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's why I didn't want to fight another one of you. So now we, we explore what we can until, until the combat is near. The combat is near. Fuck. Already. One addiction for another, that's the way to go. The key to life is you just have like 600 addictions, so you don't get too far into one of them. You just swap them out for one another. Ha! 
I read this wrong because of the streams with Snake or with XCOM. Where, where one of the steady soldiers is as piss. Ex-Commanderless has really done a number on my brain. Revive was seven in this. It wasn't. Yeah. Seven and in cure three. God, that's a lot of points. So let's put a point in ice. And then the next point in ice. Save that. I did buy a thread, right? Yeah, okay. I didn't sell my items either. What? I need to sell the sword. That's a good chunk of money. Like any of these. Now let's go. All right, see you, Tokusen. Thank you for hanging out. So let's head back. We'll do one more big push. And then I should probably go to sleep. <laughs> this game is so comfy, though. Like, I think I intended for a two-hour stream. Something like that. Maybe three. Not five. <laughs> Oh, a snap kick. Uh, the remake is very good. Like, I've mentioned it before, but my only issue is the font, and I'm mostly fine with it. It's very readable compared to the DS one. Tons of very good quality of life. Let me get past that. There we go. Yeah, so like one of the biggest ones is uh, you can actually see your buffs and resistances here. You also get the codex during combat in Etrian Odyssey 1, which the original didn't have. That got added in the 3DS games, I think. I think 4 was the first one with that. Yeah, sidestepping from Etrian Odyssey 3 in 1. Auto battle was always there. That's always just... Uh, 
the big thing is how fast it goes now because you have the run button from uh, a tree odyssey on the 3ds no one had auto battle i'm pretty sure or maybe it did get added later i don't remember i think i mostly just held the attack button for like targeted attack oh shit not here Oh, no. There we go. We're past it. And it's the same encounter again. Because of course it is. The other big thing is uh, the mapping tools are... Uh, they're better. I'm healing anyway. Yeah, they're quite pricey. Uh, though a few people do exaggerate about it. Like like someone who is supposedly hugely into uh, CRPGs was tweeting that, oh no, these remasters are like more expensive than getting a DS and all the original games on it. And it's like, no, the price of the collection is about the same as one individual game on the DS at this point. These games have gotten very expensive, even after they got reprinted at some point. Like, you could buy a copy of Vetri and Odyssey 3 for the price of this remaster, and that's it. <laughs> if you're lucky, at least. Like, I'm sure the prices are gonna shoot up again now. Now that there's even more interest. Like, I was thinking, like, after I made... When I was making my videos, I... I shit, I don't have anything but fire attacks, so no. Uh, I was thinking of getting the games, like, physical again. Uh, when I started making my videos for the series. And then I looked at the prices, and, uh... Yeah, that plan stopped immediately. Will he immediately kill something again? Let's find out. No, he doesn't. Good. Uh, let's map that. Oh, it's a dead end immediately. Okay, it doesn't have auto battle, so that is an improvement. Nice. Yeah, it, it's been a while, and I played all of them, like, so quickly after each other. Like, I definitely remember that, uh, I think it was three. Where sidestepping, uh, used the shoulder buttons in that way. Maybe it was the later one. I know it didn't immediately use the shoulder buttons and it had a weird input. But now it's like properly modern. The craziest thing to me though is um, how clean this art is. It's gorgeous. Yeah, it's not a bad up-res. It's like actual clean art. Like, I'm not surprised they still had the files, because Etrian Odyssey uh, 4 and 5, and probably also the Untolds, 
Like if, when you emulate it, it's very obvious that the resolution for the in-game art pieces are higher than the system can actually show normally. Not by much, but definitely it is a higher resolution. So I'm sure that the artist works at a higher resolution than than they require. Fucking hell. Peggy, stop dying. Oh, what 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 bat what went wrong with the uh battle network one? I haven't kept up. Alright, I'm gonna go until it's red and then I'm gonna leave again. Peggy, stop dying. Oh shit. It has awful upscaler as an option. Oh, oh yeah, I saw that actually. I'm glad that that is optional. I think they even... Well then. I think they even showed it uh, before the game came out and was like, why would you turn this on? It's terrible. At least it's not uh, what's happening with Duke Nukem right now. I don't know if you saw that controversy. They made like this uh, box art for this uh, Duke Nukem collection for the EverDrive. And it's it's by an AI, very obviously. And they keep saying that it's not, but it is. His finger is going through the gun. It's a war crime. Yeah, let me pull up an image. Uh, I'm sure if I Google it, I can find it. EverDrive, Duke Nukem. AI. Of course, Google shows an image where where the part where you can tell it's an AI is not there. Why why post an article about it and then not show the art? I can't find it on short notice. Oh well. Google Images just keeps getting worse, I swear to god. Uh, you can... you lose, uh, five levels now if you want to reset. So it's still bad, but it's not as bad as ten. It is not five where you uh, lose two levels. You still don't gain experience from doing quests either. Yeah, so the early game is still very rough. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for stopping by. Alright, let's go. And let's pray that Peggy doesn't immediately eat shit. Actually, I guess I said that the last dive was the last one, and here I am doing yet another one. It's just too comfy to play this, though. Oh shit. I do wonder if people are gonna hack in better fonts or if they're gonna put in like the rebalance hacks, if people are gonna like do that for the PC version, that would be funny. Like I guess the sky's the limit because the game has technically been cracked, like it's supposed to have Denuvo, and they launched it without Denuvo implemented. They forgot to turn it on. 
So, so day one crack is, is out there. I don't mind supporting Etrian Odyssey though. Like maybe, maybe that money will go to to whatever the next one is. So maybe the next stage will happen still. Would be funny if the next stage is no longer like a Switch exclusive, because I think that was the intent with the name NS, Next Stage, Nintendo Switch. It, it kind of reminds me of those uh, Nintendo DS titles where everything like abbreviated to DS, Dual Strike, Devil Survivor. There's probably others. I can't think of any. Why am I walking to this door again? Oh god. Oh god. Okay, it's fine because I'm near the thing. Stop. I, I just want to hear what the thing. Okay, good. Did I have any points? Yes, I do. mine at the mine spot. I don't think I have all the materials from it yet. Found nothing. Metal horn. Nice. And then on to the next floor. No, I'm not fighting you. I am not fighting a red crab. No, it's not happening. All right, this works. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'll, I'll fight this. Let's map a little bit. Getting strong. Uh, 
He's gonna kill someone in one turn. I feel it. Okay, he didn't. But he did kill Al. Jesus. Actually, I am close to the door here. I could just rush back to the thing. And not just go back to town all over again. I am not fighting a red crab. Stupid lobster. <laughs> Blindsided, no less. All right. save now and just push further I want to see if I can at least get to the boss I, I should be able to man they want Peggy dead They all only attack her. That is extremely targeted harassment. Again, just Peggy, pretty much. All right, let's go. Again with the red crab. They, they really love this corner of the map. <laughs> the crab corner? Yeah, pretty much. Staring down the roar. All right, we're on the floor with the boss. He's somewhere around here, if I'm not mistaken. Been a while, but I'm pretty sure he's there. Oh, that's a dead end. That's a lot of moles. that up. There we go. Another one. What happens if I just rush him down? How bad will that go? Quite well, actually. No, I am not fighting that enemy with enemies who lower defense. That's not happening right now. I want to live. Mm -hmm. 
so close. This is the roundabout path that leads to, like, the flame oil, I think. Which is actually really useful because the first boss is weak against fire. So if you don't have, like, a mage or anything, they give you a thing to put fire on your physical attacks. Oh, that's close. Don't die. God damn it, Peggy. Peg really just wants to be dead. I'm just gonna get the chest. Uh, or at least try to. No. Is that the... No, that's not it yet, right? No. You enter it from above. I need to remove this. Make it like this. Oh, it's a gathering room. Oh, it's another chop one. Okay. And I've already chopped. Two of them. Wait. There should be a chest around here, right? Yeah, there it is. It's the oil. They really like hiding behind doors, it seems. He's gonna kill someone in one it No. I got out.
Oh, is this a shortcut? Yeah. All right. So let's close that off. Nice. So yeah, that's the shortcut to get us to the boss faster. So it's nice to have opened that at least. Well, let's get the hell out of here. So all this junk. Oh, cool. We got the Aspis. Uh... Sure, why not? You're on the front row anyway. Honestly, thinking about it, if, if Peggy Bundy was an anime character, she would have drills. She would definitely have drills. Like, she wouldn't be an Ojo, but she'd want to be. Ice, so I could deal with those enemies. All right, I said I was only going to do one more, but I'm going to do one, one more. Because we're going to go to the boss because we're so close anyway. You know, why stop at the boss door if you can actually get to the boss, right? I'm probably not going to kill him. That's going to require a little more grind. But I should at least, at least have some fun with him. Let's go. The third last push. And then I go to bed. And by go to bed, I mean I'm going to play Street Fighter. <laughs> and then I'll go to bed. What a good time for video games. We get this, we get we get Street Fighter. There's Bioshock, which is apparently really good. There's that Warhammer bolt gun game that is supposedly really good. We got Resident Evil 4. It's a crazy time, honestly. It, it kind of reminds me of, uh, what was it, 2016, 2017? With that absolutely insane first quarter. It's like that all over again.
Hey, Powder Matt, what's up? And yeah, it's... Sometimes you just get these years where everything just drops at once. It, it's wild. No, I, I'm not taking that door. I need to go here. I'm running. Like, I guess there's also Tekken and Mortal Kombat this year for, for people who are into that. I mean, Tekken I'll probably play at some point, at least. The remaster for the second Katamari is tomorrow, I think. Unless it also unlocked at midnight, like uh, Street Fighter did, in which case it's already here. For me, at least. I might get that at some point. That was the first Katamari game that I played. We love Katamari. All right, let's push for the boss. There's a red crab. We can kill him now. There he goes. We're probably getting another crab next encounter. Yep, there he is. And there he is again. The game, like, really likes pushing the same encounter on you if you try to run away. It always makes it seem like, oh no, they're still chasing you. Like, you got away, but they're still after you. That's how I interpret it. I, I want to do the boss. I want to I want to save my resources. Please let me. Please, please let me get to the boss. No. OK, good. No. Yep, that's the room. All right. Let's map that door. Yeah, so this boss, you're in a room with the uh, wolves. The whole thing was that, like, the wolves in this floor and the previous one were like a tutorial for this boss. It was like to prepare you for what you're about to face. Because you have to rush this boss down. Oh, fuck, it's a regular wolf first. God damn it. Oh, time to waste resources. I am not going to be able to do that boss. It's pretty obvious. But I'm going to try anyway. Just to see how, how much shit I'm going to eat. Okay. Let, let's put that point there.
go. Man, that art looks good. I like it. It is so over. <laughs> Revived and just instantly killed again. Yeah, we're we're screwed. I'd probably have to grind like two or three levels and then then it's doable and maybe wait a bit have the wolves like move back a bit so they don't join the combat too early because it's way easier to do if uh if you're not swarmed by the wolves i think this this is it for now i am dead tired it's been a long stream The remasters are very good. Um, I'm very happy with them. I've mentioned it a few times before. But my only issue is the font, pretty much, and I guess the price point. But outside of that, it's very solid. Though, if you're thinking of only picking up one game, pick up three. It's the best one of the DS trilogy. But it's absolutely worth going through all of them in order. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Uh, I'll probably stream again tomorrow and just play some Street Fighter because I want to do that. Street Fighter 6 looks so good. Anyway, thank you all for watching and I will see you guys soon. Also, be sure to look out for the video on my uh, main channel on YouTube tomorrow. There's a minstrel song video happening, and that should be very good. Also, if I tab out of this, the music stops, so 